So this piece, um, the production is called Intimate Sphine and it's uh, really nice because we're working with uh, a live musician. In this case, we're literally going to be in a ballroom with people seated around and I guess it's going to be a really nice experience for the audience because they get to see us super close, whereas normally they're, they're at quite a distance, you know, at least three, four meters away from us. So. It's the first time we are working with Paolo on a soundtrack with lyrics on top, so obviously we are a bit influenced by the meaning of these lyrics and the global energy. Uh, so it's also interesting to understand how we can deal with it. Are we going in the same direction or are we trying to create link with them or again going in a position? So we are kind of playing with all these possibilities throughout the piece. There are always funny moments working with Paolo. I feel like, you know, I'm, I've been in Sveen, this is my fourth season now, so I've really gotten to know him over these four years. And, uh, you know, working with him now, everybody has gotten to know each other, especially between us and the group. And yeah, we're really open and we make jokes and we all laugh together. And it, there's this, this play and this openness to have a laugh, but also work really hard and it's, it allows us to fluctuate and give our brain a bit of a break and maybe our body a bit of a break, but then go straight back into it. So it's a really, really nice balance. Yes, it's my first year uh, here in the company and right now I'm here with, uh, with these people and, and it's fantastic. Then it's, uh, I think that uh, it's a very beautiful group. We work well and, uh, yeah. So yeah, I'm Keith and I am the face of Sphere Malta, I'm joking. Um, I've been at Sphere Malta for eight years. It's been an interesting development working with Sphere Malta and seeing how things have changed over the years, things have developed seeing new people coming in, the transition from being the youngest person over here to being the oldest dancer in the studio, which people never fail to bring up, but, you know. But it's, it's, it's fun working with Paolo. He, you can have a little joke here and there when it's the right moment to have a joke. Um, as long as you get the work done, as long as you're working intelligently, as long as you're respecting the the work that's being created, respecting your body, respecting the piece, respecting your partner if you're doing a partner a duet or something. Um, what I like with Spell of Styles is again this idea of always discovering new places you never went before because again you have this gaps and basically you have this freedom to every time you go on stage or during a run you can always give something new or do the movement in a different manner because the intentions you always need to give a meaning a sense but it can always be different the way the relation with the other can change from one day to another uh, so yeah, you have all this game, you can play with yourself to always find a way to keep this entertainment to do the same material, but even if it's the same shape, giving a different meaning every time. And then, yeah, bit by bit, we, this material is going to evolve because we can play with the dynamics when the material is set. So obviously the dynamic and the intentions are going to transform it. And as well, the material we are doing ourselves is going to change completely with obviously changing our orientations, dynamics, some trio becoming quatuor, some duets with another duet also becoming quatuor. So there's two different uh, takes that Paolo likes to, likes to take. So he likes to 
make the, the material and then he also asks us to create the material and then he manipulates it and puts it into like a composition. It's super challenging for the body and it's super challenging for the mind but you know we go home and we feel like we really worked super hard so it's really rewarding as well. <laughs>